Well, how do you feel it went then? Well, it could. the first phase first. But it, I didn't really feel confident about my briefing. But uh, I muddled through it and I felt that it got a lot better once we started the manoeuvre. So let's the, the first Can I just ask you uh, a question about the briefing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, please do. Why were you attempting to give the briefing here? And why was I attempting to give the briefing here? Um, because he was uh, partly trained. I thought we always started off with partly trained at the, at the start side. Yeah, but we don't always brief. We don't? Here, do we? Why not? Well, okay. I'll take any manoeuvre. It's going to be it's going to be a five minute drive to site, isn't it? Okay, it's five minute drive to site, and then and then brief on the site. Okay, it's going to, that's going to yeah. be um, on the right, left, to reverse. And yeah, because there's too much be, there's too much to remember. Right, you got, yeah. Yeah. If you listen, you learn. Yeah. Same on the turn in the road. Yeah. We have to yeah. drive to the side. Yeah. So all the manoeuvres, no point trying to brief before we go. It'll be the same on the. Um, Moving up and stopping. Um, You'd be driving the car to the, uh, the site. What would you be talking about? Yeah, I'd be driving them. I'd be driving it to the site. I'd be talking about mirrors. I'd be talking about my signals. Yeah. And where would you get yeah. the briefing on the actual moving up and stopping? Uh, the actual briefing for the pulling away, moving off, and pulling in. You mean? Yeah. Uh, I'd be finding a nice straight, straight bit of road. That so, so you'd be giving the briefing site, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'd do it there. Yeah, so, okay, let's look, look at the first phase. Yeah. Uh, I scored it a two and a three. Okay. Um, are you nice. shocked at that or? Well, it is, yeah, it's low, isn't it? Sorry? It is low. No, I mean, are you shocked at it? Yeah, I'm shocked at it, yeah. Because well, uh, well, I thought I picked up the faults and I thought it might be a bit better than that. But maybe, well, maybe well, it's Well, let's look at thing. the first phase. Let's look at the yes. first phase. Yeah. What would you say is one of the most important ingredients on a manoeuvre? looking around you, make sure there's nobody about. Right, what was the instruction you gave me? I was more concerned with the, to do with the clutch and no, the No, the instruction on the, uh, on the observations, what was the instructions you gave me? I said there's got to be nobody about, nobody within four car legs. Right, when you watch this back tonight, yeah. you'll see that the instructions you gave me were to use the right and left door mirror at all yeah. times, yeah. not the middle mirror. Yeah. Now you're out teaching real learners, aren't you? I'm teaching you learners. No, you're out teaching real learners. Real learners, yeah. And you get them to uh, reverse round the corner by using only the right and left over. Well, I thought this exercise was was put in place for people who had to reverse without this because they've got all stuff in the back of the car. I thought that was what the whole idea was. You know, for people who are driving a van, when they happen to be in a van, they're not going to have a centre mirror, are they? No, they're not going to have a centre mirror, but they've got they've got very big door mirrors, haven't they? Yeah. And um, they have got responsibility. What's what's the one thing that is very hard to see in those door mirrors? Uh, cars and pedestrians. Pedestrians are very hard to see, aren't they? Yeah. Hmm. If I'd have been a real learner, thank God no pedestrian walked out of one of those houses behind us, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because I'd run them over, wouldn't I? Yeah. So you got to do more all round observations. It would only That's take it would only take a split second for a pedestrian to come out of that door there, mm. get past that mirror, mm. and it's now out of my line of sight. Yeah. I'm gonna run them over. Yeah. So what should I have said then? Sorry? What should I have said? You should have been encouraged me to continue to look all around me all the time. All the time. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. I asked you to teach me a right reverse, not in a not in a not in a car that's got, got stuff loaded up to the uh, uh, that I can't see at the back window. Okay, so if we could see, we would see you mean. Because I very nearly moved this like this. So that we couldn't see it. I thought that's what we were supposed to do, but uh, obviously I don't know. No, no, you should you should teach a manoeuvre, uh, now for the vehicle that I'm taking it in, yeah, I'm not okay. taking it in a van. Yeah, okay. Um, so we could look at use all three. 
not could have, should have. Should have. Yeah. Not mirrors, observations. Mm -hmm. A lot more. I didn't do any. Okay. Uh, because you told me to look in the right and left arm mirror only, yeah? I only looked, mm. looked behind me once and that's when you told me to look down the road for mm. a split second. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the brief. Useless. Yeah, the brief didn't make any sense at all, really. But it, it, if you'd have nailed it on the move, well, then, uh, uh, you know, the brief wouldn't have failed you. You mean as we did the manoeuvre? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so let me go on to the uh, emerging. Yeah. At one point, I had two wheels on the curve, didn't I? Yeah, that was my fault, wasn't it? I say, stay to me, stay to me. Had I made any? I had actually made a couple of left-hand turns for that, hadn't I? Yeah. Uh, for, um, on. Yeah. Not on subject, but. Yeah. Turning to get there. No. Yeah. Approaching. From a major into a minor. I, I even actually gave you a lifeline. Yeah. You were doing them correctly when we were turning left. Yeah. Yeah. It took you an awful long time to make the link, didn't it? It did. Yeah? It did. It did. It's, sh it, long time. it's a shame you didn't make that link before I managed to get the front and back wheel uh, uh, yeah. driving over it. And the only reason I, uh, I did it there was a very low pavement. Yeah. But I did follow the instructions you gave. Yeah, you did, because uh, I told you to. Steer to me, you steer to me, steer to yeah. me. And, um, and you kept doing it, and you did, you yeah. did it. It was my fault. Yeah, I'd have, yeah, I'd have carried on steering as well, um, but I'm running out of road. Yeah, the coast thing you, saw, uh, you sorted out eventually. You could have sorted out in the very first one. Um, yeah. I, was, I was coming down that hill. You were coming down Hell for Leather. I didn't yeah. think what it was. Oh, all you had to say to me... Um, Good job. Yeah, that's being proactive. Yeah. Um, but to give you a due, you did sort it out. And you did actually say clutch up eventually, didn't you? Oh yeah, I didn't yeah. spot it the first time, I admit. So well, I you did actually we were... you did actually spot I was going too fast. I did spot you were going too fast. And then I think you sussed out while we were at the junction. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of times I stopped over the white line, didn't I? Yeah. Was that a good place to be sitting there talking? Uh, with, the, with the front of the car. Not not in retrospect. No. Yeah, I was. I, yeah, I wasn't very keen on sitting there. Um, a couple of points I was going to say to you, you know, can I drive on please? Yeah, okay. Point, point taken. Yeah. yeah, it took you too long to sort that out as well, yeah? Yeah, way too long. Yeah. We're hindsight now, how would you uh, have corrected that a bit earlier? Well, how do I stop you from driving over the line? We had a line that wasn't in existence for one, one time. That was difficult. Uh, it's better if you've got a white line to play with, isn't it? I'd just get you to, to come up under my direction and ask you to come up with a jogging speed and then down to walking speed. Yeah, cover yeah. the brake and yeah. um, bring yeah. the speed down to walking yeah. pace. Stop yeah. here. Yeah. Where mm. does it, where does the giveaway line go into the car? Mm. Why is that important? Mm. Yeah. yeah, if you'd have analysed it a bit better, you, uh, you would have come up to the remedial action a bit sooner. Yeah. Mirrors. When? <laughs> exactly. Oh, you mean you weren't doing them? Weren't you? No, I don't know. On a couple of left hand uh, emerges, I did a right mirror. Oh. And this is right from the off. Uh, I think the off was uh, uh, the very first one was a uh, right hand turn. I done the left mirror, and then most of the occasions I didn't do any mirrors. How how important are the mirrors? Very important. Mm. Very important. We to spot anyway. Did you hear? You managed to do it without anyway. <laughs> so that's, uh, it's very did, important for me to spot. Did you hear any lifelines uh, about mirrors? Uh, yeah, towards the end, uh, but mainly I thought you were looking for praise, so giving you praise. But I didn't really notice anything. 
to do one. I didn't notice any lifelines for mirrors, no, I didn't. So how come you noticed my mirrors were so good in places that were off subject, but yet you didn't notice them when they were on subject? Because I've got nothing else to think about when we were coming up to halt, and I was able to have some thinking time. Mm. When you come up to turn, I'm not, I'm not looking so much, I'm concentrating on thinking, of what, how is he going to do this, what's going to happen? So I've got a lot more going on. Yeah, the reverse around the corner was absolutely abysmal, eh? Yeah. Uh, uh, the emerge, you only just scraped the three on the emerge. You, you were nearly looking at two twos there, yeah? Mm. How did you make that assessment anyway? When the difference between <laughs> two twos? Well, what's the difference between a two and a three? Do you have to add up all those? Well, I got, I got absolutely no... hardly any instruction at all on how to reverse the car around the corner to the right. Oh yeah, I, I grant you on that. That was rubbish, that was number two. Uh, the first manoeuvre. Uh, but I mean, why, when you said it was three, you said it was almost a two. What would make it a two? The, the, the emerge? The errors, the errors dragged on way too long. Um, no mirrors whatsoever. It's dangerous. Yeah, I know, I didn't do the mirrors. But well, I didn't do the mirrors. No, you didn't do the mirrors, and I never picked you up from. I thought I was pick, I thought I was resolving the problems uh, reasonably quick. Um, I know it's a matter of opinion. You see people can resolve them a lot quicker than me. But uh, up to now, I've already resolved any problems. So well, I was doing well from my point of view, if you've missed the mirrors, well, then I'm going to carry on doing the mirrors wrong, yeah? Yeah. But obviously, I can't just sit there and just test your mirrors. So I'll put another error in. Yeah. But the mirrors were always there. Um, yeah, yeah. They were missing all the way through. All the way through, yeah. yeah. So that um, really killed me. Yeah, if you'd have noticed the halfway through, you might have got away with it. Mm. But you never noticed it at all. And what do you mean by get away with it? I mean, you know, I've got four, you mean? If, I'd, if On the second assessment, if I'd seen mirrors, would I have got a four? No, you would have got a horror three there. Yeah. Um, but they never noticed it at all, yeah? So I've got to, uh, I've got to identify the faults earlier. I've got to resolve them earlier. I've got to analyse them. Yeah, the whole thing's got to be a lot faster, a lot bit tighter. But the, but the mirrors, I got to admit, I didn't spot. Yeah, them. yeah, it wouldn't have mattered even if you got a six on the phase two. Uh, the phase one was absolutely abysmal. Yeah, yeah? it was, wasn't it? Uh, I was completely on my own. Yeah, there was technical language there coming out that I wouldn't have had a clue about okay. clockwise, anti-clockwise. Okay. Um, no guidance about, uh, about when to when to turn the wheel. But it was the no looking that that really kills you there, yeah? It's dangerous. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, to actually tell me to actually just do it by looking in the in the right and left door mirror. Yeah. yeah. It's absolutely dangerous, eh? So I thought I was doing quite well saying to you stop every four seconds and have another look around here. That didn't save me at all. You said look in the mirrors. I thought I said look up around now and make sure there's no cars coming. Oh down the road, yeah. Yeah. But which direction was I going? Backwards. Backwards. With your front end sticking out into the road. So where should I have been looking most of the time? Most of the time I should be looking backwards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I could have played around with the co uh, uh, the coordination of the pedals a lot more. Yeah. Um, no, you didn't, and uh, I'm glad you didn't, because I've got so much to do. And when I set the gas too high, yeah? Yeah. Or take the reverse gear. Yeah. I went into fourth gear, and at one point you actually put your hand over and put it in reverse gear yourself, yeah? Yeah. What was I looking for when I kept going into fourth gear? Oh, God only knows, because I... How do I know what you're looking for? The reason why. I was I was reversing with the handbrake on at one point. Hmm. And I kept turning the handbrakes down. Yeah. Did it never occur to you just to come in and say to me, Tony, 
we know the ham uh, uh, the handbrake's on. If you look on the dashboard, you see a little red light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a red light on the dashboard? Oh yes, there is, Edward. Yeah, the dangers of driving with the handbrake on is that we're going to burn the clutch out. Mm. In the end, I gave you the I let the handbrake down. Yeah. Eventually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're very naughty, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. You're very naughty. I sweated over this gear thing. Again and again, you stick your foot in it. The reason why I would have sorted it. The reason why? Well, so, yeah. was I my intervention doing it by. Was, was that wrong? Because I couldn't seem to get you to do it without actually showing you. Yeah? Eventually, you mentioned about going forward, didn't you? Eventually. Yeah. Um, and that's why. I actually got the gear, yeah? Mm. But I but I could have had that gas set very high all the way around. Uh, I could have had the clutch all the way up. Mm. But you... Yeah, yeah, you could have been a lot more obstropolis, but you... Why did you want the gas so high when I asked you to bring it down, you wouldn't? What can I do in that situation? Would you refuse to bring the gas down below about two and a half? If the gas is set too high, Turn the easier off the gas at the thickness of a pound coin. There's two reasons. One, we're probably peeing off the neighbours, yeah? And secondly, when, when that clutch bites, if I get the clutch slightly too high, and I've got the gas set at 3,000 revs, what's going to happen to the car? Mm. It's going to lurch off. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I see. You just didn't yeah? give them any reasons why we need the gas coming down. Yeah, I'm not going to learn yeah. unless I know the reasons why. Yeah. Um, I'm not a parrot, am I? <laughs> well, carefully into that. I wouldn't like to answer that. Really? I wouldn't like to answer that. Yeah, I'm not a parrot, am I? Learn my understanding. Good reasons why. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. But the observations on, on the first phase definitely got you slaughtered, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no mirrors on the second phase definitely got you slaughtered. Yeah. If you're not noticed, your, your rear learners are not using the mirrors. Those mirrors are crucial, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we have another go then? Sorry? Can we have another go at something else? We're not making a cup of tea first. Got to the pub, shall we? <laughs> that might help. No, but uh, I'm keen to go again. I want to try and fix this. You'll probably give me something else, another topic I never thought about, and then I'll be equally as bad at it. But eventually, I'll have so many bad topics under my belt, it's got to come out in the end, doesn't it? This, um, this training thing mm -hmm. is a shared responsibility, isn't it? Of course it is. I can't expect you to. Are you doing your share? Yeah, I was doing more. I was doing more. No. Um, I haven't done that thing that you've told me about reading that uh, that pamphlet from the DSA. I must admit. Yeah, I do. I want. Let me let me just write that down on my phone so I can remember to do it. The thing I've got to do tonight. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you think you're actually taking your side of the training seriously enough? Uh, no, I don't. I don't think I am. No, I'm admitting I'm not taking it as seriously as I should. Uh, I, when I, when I started this, I, I expected the training to train me. And I thought that's all I would need. And you're a trainer, and you would train me like some learners expect to be taught. But we know that when we go for theory, yeah. there's so much they've got to do on their own. Yeah, but I am training you, aren't I? You are. But then you're you're going out and you're doing over 40 hours of lessons a week, aren't you? Yeah. With real learners. Yeah. If it's, if it's not being put into practice, and then you turn up on a Sunday. <sighs> yeah, yeah. It goes out the window, doesn't it? Yeah, I've got to put more into practice. 
and I have put some more into practice, but not enough. Not enough. Nowhere near enough. Nowhere near enough. Can you remind me what that DBSA document is called again? ADI one. The ADI one is the document for. It's a guideline for uh, examiners. I've had. I've had to carry out every kind of test the DBSA carry out. It's a very useful document. Um, and you'll find it in Google by just typing in ADI1. Yeah. Based on what you told me, it doesn't look as if I'll be ready in two weeks time. Unless I make a dramatic improvement. Have you ever had anybody that made a dramatic improvement in two weeks? It's going to be a massive improvement, isn't it? It has to be a massive improvement, and it would have to be very fast as well, wouldn't it? From a fairly low start point. Do you think anyone could do that? In your uh, experience? On, only you know yourself. Um, how much you want to do this and how much yeah. you need it. Yeah. Obviously what what I have to consider because I've got to look after your well being as well, is that you only get three attempts at this. Yeah. And I would not want you going in there and chucking away an attempt and that would have been a chuck away today, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to chuck away an attempt. Uh, I have in the past um, allowed people to say, oh, I'll have a go. Why? Just so they can see for themselves how, how poor they are, or how wrong they are. Well, yeah, but failure, uh, failure doesn't really uh, improve anything, does it? Well, no, it can give you a, a kick up the backside, can't it? Uh, it can make you realise uh, well, that you're well, near as good as you thought you were. Well, the mock test I just gave you uh, should give you the kick of the backside, oh, yeah. shouldn't it? It, it, does. it does. It's better to get the kick of the backside from me It is. than to actually lose a life on the day. Definitely. Um, Definitely. Can we do another mock test then? Yes, today? we can. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And that'll give me another kick at the backside, and hopefully I'll be a bit better at it. I'm sure there's things I'm going to get wrong, but I just I've got to find out what things I get wrong, then I can rectify them. Right. I'll give that a pause. Yep. Yeah.